Hello, this is Mrs. Bobby. This is lesson seven and eight combination. The bottom section down here is going to be lesson eight, and this is lesson seven at the top. So they kind of together, we're still talking about rational numbers, but we're now ordering them from least to greatest, still looking at their opposites and then ordering their opposites from least to greatest. Um, so something to keep in mind is that the bigger the negative number, so if the negative number looks bigger, it's actually worse. So that means it's a it's a a bigger negative is the is the farthest to the left of the number line. So you have your zero. Picture your zero in the center. So I'm going to draw a little number line up here. So picture your zero in the center, and then your positive numbers. The bigger the positive the farther to the right it is and the bigger the negative the farther to the left it goes bigger negative farther left bigger positive farther to the right okay so if you look at this example it says order from least to greatest so we have these two numbers and negative seven and twenty five hundredths is a bigger negative so it's worse it's the farther we go this way the smaller the value so the worse it is and the way over here is the better it is so if you can look at it like that so this one's worse so this one's least to the greatest if we order their uh, their opposites the opposites of these negatives are obviously the positives and if we want to order them from least to greatest this opposite then the seven and one tenth is least compared to seven and 25 hundredths. And how we know is if we line these two numbers up, uh, some kids have a really hard time with this, but if you line up your decimal points, like right here, the sevens are the same, and then a one and a two, which one's work? Which one's smaller? Um, that's the one. So the one is the least, the greatest is the two. Complete different when we're talking about the negatives. So let's look at this next one so we have a fourth and a negative and right away if we're looking at which one's least we can look we can say that it's the negative number is worse off than the positive positive. and then if we order if we have the opposites opposite of a negative half is a half and the opposite of a fourth is a negative one fourth so now if we're going to order them from least to greatest we now have the negative fourth is going to be least and the better one is going to be the half so if we're looking at um, this one right here, this negative, and we have two negatives, we would say, hey, negative five and six tenths is um, le more a, a lot a lot bigger, bigger negative. So that's got to go first, then the negative five. And then if we change these to positives, we need to take the negatives out and we will have shortly the putting them in order from least to greatest the five is smaller than the five and six tenths so that's that piece so now so now we're looking at this bottom and it says order from greatest to least so greatest is the best thing so we're looking for the the smallest negative, so we have negative one and 75 hundredths, and then the least is negative three and 25 hundredths. For this right on the number line, so the furthest right is the better one, so the furthest right is the negative one and 75 hundredths, because that's as close to the right as we can get, and the farthest to the left is your negative three and 25 hundredths. So if we look at um, let's say this next one, we say from greatest. So the greater one is the negative nine and the worst one is the negative nine and seven tenths. Farthest to the right on the number line, if we're looking at this, is we have zero and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're looking at a negative nine and then almost right here. So the one that's for this to the left of the furthest to the right of the number line this is closer to the right so that would be the negative nine but the furthest to the left would be the negative nine and seven tenths 
So there's a whole bunch of different ones we can do, but that gives you an idea. If you plot these on a number line and um, just getting rid of this one and putting in the negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, if we have negative like three and a quarter, the one above it, and then we have the negative one and 75 hundredths, one and 75 hundredths, this one was further to the right of the number line where this one was further to the left. All right, and as always, this is Mrs. Bobby, and I love math. <laughs>